morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, I just want to bring some encouragement today on testimony. You know, God calls us all to reach people. One of His commissions, you know, when He ascended was to go and make disciples of all men. You know, and I think one of the bad things about today, and, and even me when I was uh, young in my Christianity, I thought that that wasn't for me, that there was people and teachers that were put in place for that. But you know, God calls each and every one of us um, to reach people. And He's given each and every one of us um, talents, not talents, but gifts of doing that. Sometimes it just takes a while for us to understand what gift that is that God has given us. And you know, we can pray about that. We can pray for God, Lord, you know, help me understand what my purpose is, what you've given me, Father, um, that can touch someone or that I can use and uh, to be able to reach uh, somebody. You know, and the Bible teaches us that, you know, we should be ready. And I think one of the things I want to challenge every one of us is, you know, we did a Bible study and one of the challenges were to uh, write down your testimony. You know, and I think that's a great way to be ready um, to share God, to share the Spirit and what He's done. You know, one of the best ways that we can reach people um, that don't know Jesus is through our personal relationship with them. You know, and none of us that have a personal relationship with them don't, can say that we don't have something that we can share. God has done so much in each one of us that there is something that we can share, something that the Lord has allowed us to go through, that He's brought us through. Um, we can share those. Those are our personal testimonies. And um, those are hard to dispute. Somebody can't argue with what God has done in your life, especially if it's evident, you know. I have uh, my, my brother Keith, you know. I mean, his old way of life and the way that he lived was uh, rough, and there's many people that said that he would never uh, turn around, that he would never. But you know, God can do big things. God can do miraculous things. And when the Lord takes someone like that, and like the Apostle Paul, that is doing or acting detrimentally to the kingdom of God, and he can turn them around and actually have them serving the kingdom of God, that is a testimony. You know, my brother Keith, there's many people that never thought he would turn around, but God has turned him around and he has a heart for the Lord and you can't dispute that. So what I'm saying is that if you take the time and write down, write it down, something about writing um, something down that really helps it to be on your heart at an even deeper level. If we write down our testimony, you know, we can share it more readily available to someone that's in need or that could use it. Um, I would like to share a scripture real quick. You know, it's in 1 Peter um, 3. I'll start at 13. Um, Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. See, we're being reverent to the Lord. And then here's, here's where it gives us a command. He says, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Obviously in Christ. We should always be ready and have something at the tip of our tongue to share with someone why do we have the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Um, if we don't have an answer for that, why would anybody want to believe in the God that we believe in? But if we can share the hope of Christ Jesus with others, it might strike something in them that they see why we believe or see why we have the hope because of the changes that were done that can't be explained by other things, but can only be explained by the movement that the Spirit did within us, the Holy Spirit that did within us. And when we share those things, you know, the second part of this right here, 
the scripture also tells us, uh, tells us how to share these things. So it says, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping in a clear conscience. You know, if we don't um, give our testimony or we don't talk to somebody about Christ and our hope in Christ with love and respect, um, it defeats the whole purpose. And it just, all that does is, is when we don't have that in us, they can't see that in us, it just shows that we don't really have what we're claiming we have. But when Christ's love comes through us and when we share our testimony in Christ's love with respect of where people are then with respect that they may not believe what we believe and being okay with that because um, you know God meets us where we are you know it's not like you have to be perfect or you have to have already have obtained these things for Christ to accept you no Christ accepts you where you are but he loves you enough that he won't leave you where you are he puts His Spirit in you, and His Spirit burns the chaff out. His Spirit um, helps you through situations, trials, and tribulations to build your character. Um, when your character is built, perseverance is, uh, builds hope, you know, and so He builds us up, you know, and that's the same way that we need to approach when we share a testimony with somebody who may not believe that uh, that we are okay with that, that we 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 don't have to um, force them to believe. We don't have to force them to um, agree, but we are sharing a testimony. And uh, it's up to them. And God prepares the hearts of those He calls. And so we trust in that. But we need to always have a Christ-like character um, in no matter what we do. You know, not just when we go to church, but when we're at home, when we're at work, when we're with other people, so that we can maintain this. So my challenge is to you today is, is just write your testimony down on paper. Write it out. What has God done? What, where has God brought you from? You know, look at the testimony that Paul would have. You know, he was persecuting the church. You know, he met Jesus on the road to Damascus, and that all turned around. And the different trials and things that Jesus, that, that, that God had brought him through, that Jesus brought him through. So think about those things. Where did Jesus bring you through? How has, how has the Spirit of God changed your life? Um, how has the Spirit of God brought peace and hope to your life? Write it down so that we are ready to give an account for that same hope so that we're ready to give that story to someone who may not know. And uh, it'll make a difference. And uh, we can build up the kingdom of God for His glory. And you know who gets the benefit during that? We do. Because when we do this, when we make devotional videos, when we talk to somebody about Christ, when we're there for somebody, you know, there's a feeling, there's a sense of um, beautifulness that comes from that, like purity, because you're doing God's work. You're doing what God has called you to do. There's nothing in this world that gives you that feeling. But when you're in line with God's will. So we just let's bring it to the Lord right now and ask Him uh, to guide us in this, to give us wisdom. So Father God, we just come to you right now. We ask for wisdom. We ask that you just put on all of our hearts, Lord Jesus, how to share our testimony and how to to, to share you with others, Father God, so that we can build your kingdom up and, and help other people understand and um, who you are and what you're really about, that you are always there for us, that you never leave us or forsake us, that even though you allow things to happen, that you're not leaving us to our own devices, that when we're seeking you, you are there with us through the whole thing. We want to we show people that. And the, one of the best ways to do that is through what you've already done in our lives. So, Father God, I ask that you just move us, that you motivate us, that you encourage us how to share our testimony with others. We know that when you, uh, when you put opportunity in front of us, that you want us to. And we just ask that we be ready 
and available for that time when it comes. In Jesus' name, amen. I just thank you for watching today. And, you know, just be ready. Be ready for that opportunity. And, and uh, you know, it's a, learning, it's a learning process. There's been many opportunities that I've missed that I look back and I go, man, you know, God put an opportunity right in front of me and I didn't even see it. But that in itself is a lesson from the Spirit of God. The fact that we are able to look back and He reveals it to us through His Spirit. He's teaching us. So those are teachable moments. And we take those moments and we remember them. And the more we remember those moments, the next time an opportunity is present, we see it. Our eyes are open to it. And we can act on it. And we can take that opportunity um, to touch someone, to share our testimony, to just be there for someone, to listen. Um, but those things come as we grow, as we mature in Christ, and we become more Christ-like. For that is where God wants us. God wants us to be Christ-like. No, we're not going to be God, but we have the characteristics of God. He created us in His image. That doesn't mean that we are gods, but that, re that means that He created us in His image to be like Him in character. So I encourage you today, and I just thank you for watching. And we love you, and I ask God to bless you, give you wisdom, give you peace, in Jesus' name. Thank you.